Hello agents and welcome back to this series in which we perform agent-based simulations with NetLogo and pretty much I explain how to use NetLogo for this purpose. So I reduce myself so we are back to NetLogo and just to have an overview so in this brief video I will analyze pretty much how does the world works and the three main entities of NetLogo. And then in the next videos, we are going to analyze better the command center with in detail how these three main entities actually work. So it's interesting that since NetLogo is agent-based, um, is agent-based, it works pretty much with some specific entities. So uh, you don't need to think every time in terms of uh, arrays or in terms of uh, row number and variables, you have some entities with some properties. So it's agent-based. What's interesting is that we have three main types of entities. And the first one is called turtle. And actually the turtles are what usually are called agents. So are just some kind of object that have some specific features and are the ones that are moving around here. So for example, ships, wolves here, when they move around, they are the so-called turtles. Then we have also patches. Maybe you can see better patches in this version of the world. So you can see they are the parts that compose the world. We have, for example, here green patches, brown patches or red, I don't know. I'm <laughs> I'm not really good with colors. Yeah, I would say it's brownish. Anyway, so we have all these parts that compose the world and also them are objects so they can have some specific properties. And finally, we have links. We are not gonna show links right now, but we will have also links. Let's say in a lot of cases, you will work for sure with the patches and uh, turtles. Links, uh, it depends on the simulation. So last time we end up discussing about the world. And the main thing is like, can we change anything about the world? And the main answer is, for example, we can enlarge it or shrink it down. And we can do it in, let's say, a simple, easy way just by selecting the word and then dragging it. And you can see it can become really small or really big. But actually this doesn't really make a difference because for example, if we expand it, we run the simulation and we see that we also expanded the ships and the wolves. So it's not like the word changed, it's just changed the representation of the world just for visualization purposes that we can make it bigger or smaller. But what if we want to make our world really bigger? Like, can we do it? The answer is yes. And we have to go here in settings. We go here and we can see here, we have these two parameters that are really important. Max PX core and max PY core. So why do they have this weird name? I'm not sure what was the thinking be behind this, but I'm quite uh, um, sure, let's say, that the P here stands for patches. So you have the maximum X coordinate for the patches. And here is also for the Y, maximum Y coordinate for the patches. In this way, it's a little easier to remember. So you can see that here we have 25 and 25, if we expand the word, for example, we go to setting again, we have that is still 25 and 25. But if we shrink the word down and for example, we double the max PX score to 50, we see that now the word is much bigger. Also, we see that the entire word has been some way erased. When we set up again the simulation, we see that the, the size of all the turtles, all the ships and wolves 
are still the same as before, but now the size of the world is doubled. Also, we see that the density, some way of ships and wharves diminished. And this is quite clear because when we set the simulation, we have a fixed initial number of ships and initial number of wharves. So we just doubled the area without changing the number of ships and wharves. wharves. And that's why we have this lower density. Another interesting thing is that when we run the simulation, let's go, you can see that actually the ships and wolves can uh, actually escape some way from the side. Maybe you can see it better like this. Okay, let's start maybe with a lower number and you can see it. You can see it better like this. You can see that as they go on the side, they can appear on the different sides. So this one happens when we have some way a circular world. So you can go from one side to the other. The edges are some way connected. And we can change this with the settings. So we go here, settings, and we see that words, word wraps horizontally or word wraps vertically. If we uncheck this, for example, we can see that when we apply it and we run the simulation, we have that here the ships now get stuck on the edges because they cannot move from here. At least they, they go back. So this is the end for this part. Next, we're going to analyze the command center and a little more of the details of these three entities. So thank you very much for uh, being here and hope to see you in the next video that since I'm recording it right now, I hope it will <laughs> come out quite soon. Not like uh, this uh, big lag that we had between the first one and the last one. So see you next time.